loves. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I achieved this sparkly metallic blue mani using the Kiss At Home Acrylic Salon Dip System. not be filming this video at a better time that red nail polish I had been wearing that for like at least two weeks and my nails were jacked up it was time for this to come off so obviously before I get into the demo of the salon dip system I'm just gonna remove that nail polish using my cute butterfly nail clippers that I got from Dollar Tree I'm just clipping my nails and evening them up now with my KISS 100 slash 180 grit nail file, I'm gently buffing the shine off of my nails and also removing that excess red nail polish because it did stain since I didn't use a base coat. And lastly, before applying my false nails, I'm using my stainless steel cuticle pusher that I got from Shop Miss A to gently push my cuticles back and also push the skin away from the sides of my nails as well. I purchased the KISS Professional Salon Dip System from Walmart for $15. The kit includes 40 tips, a small sponge, brush-on gel glue, an activator, two replacement brushes for the gel, the dip powder tray, a nail file, the dipping powder, an orange stick, and the instructions. The 40 tips included in the kit consist of 20 natural and 20 white French tips. Instead of using the tips included in the set, I'll be using my own nails. I purchased this 360 piece ultra thin ballerina full cover nail set off of the Wish app for $9 plus $5 for shipping. It comes with 30 rows with 12 nails on each row. And that's roughly 30 sets. I say roughly because some of the nails are a little bit too small. So I do have to interchange them with nails from another row, but I really like the shape and length of these. They are rather flexible. They are very thin. They're meant to be used with either a gel overlay or an acrylic to strengthen it. Here are what the nails look like on. I applied them with the Kiss PowerFlex Brush On Nail Glue. I love that they came pre-shaped because I suck at filing my nails and this is the shape that I've always tried to achieve. Here's my setup. I put the dipping powder into the tray. I have my Brush On Gel Glue and my activator as well as a jar of nail polish remover for cleanup and a Horizon Group number no. 2 paintbrush that I purchased in a pack of 6 from Walmart for $5. I did my left hand off camera since this is a new technique that I was trying out. I want to make sure that I had a pretty good grasp of it and it is rather easy to do. Step one is to apply an even layer of the brush on gel glue to your nail. Then dip it into the powder making sure your nail is evenly coated. Using the black sponge get rid of the excess powder then apply your activator. Now it's time to file and buff your nails into your desired shape. After filing and buffing the nail, you reapply the activator. And the last step is to seal everything in with a final coat of the brush on gel glue. Now that I have all 10 nails done, it's time for polish. I'll be using the LA Colors Color Last Nail Polish in the shade Emerald. It's a beautiful metallic blue and this was $2.50 at Family Dollar. Dollar. 
To seal in my polish, I'm using the LA Colors Rapid Dry Top Coat. That was $1.50, also from Family Dollar. I'm finishing up with the new color peach scented cuticle oil that is $1 at Family Dollar. My final thoughts on the Kiss Professional Salon Dip System is that I do recommend it. I think it's a great product for the price given that you can get multiple sets out of it and the instruction sheet made it really easy to understand each step the only con I have with this product is that even though it comes with two replacement brushes I found that the brush for the brush on gel did get quite gunky rather quickly and it made it kind of difficult to complete one set and here are my nails. I absolutely love this blue polish. It is so pretty and vibrant, especially when the sun hits it. I will make sure to list all of the products down below in the description. And I hope you loves enjoyed this video. Go ahead and drop a comment down below telling me what you thought. And until next time, bye loves!